Feats don't fail me now. Wrong kind of feats there, man. Oh. Game Masters here, and I'm going to do a series of shorter videos covering some of the various feats found in the new 2024 Player's Handbook for Dungeons & Dragons. This video is all about the origin feat, Crafter. An origin feat is one that is tied to your origin, uh, your, your, your background. And to get the Crafter feat, you must take the Artisan Origin. Having the Crafter feat will grant to you proficiency with three artisan tools of your choice from what is called a fast crafting table. I'll show you that in just a moment. The Crafter feat also can benefit you as it lets you somewhat automatically barter for a better price when you buy non-magical items. Uh, you get 20% off, which is kind of cool. Okay. Fast crafting. When you finish a long rest, you can craft an item from this table provided you took the proficiency and have the appropriate artisan tool. Remember, you can pick three. Whatever it is that you make will last until you finish another long rest, at which point the item will fall apart. For example, let's say you crafted up a torch using your carpenter's tools. Now this makes sense in how it falls apart after using it all day. Perhaps the, the wraps you used or, or the fuel that you put into the torch has all burned up. But there are a few items in this table that I can't seem to figure out the logic in how they would simply just fall apart. Uh, take a shovel that the tinker's tools will let you craft up. I mean, maybe the handle could have just been a stick? The, the spade portion, maybe that could get bent? Or a bell? I'm not seeing how, how after uh, eight hours of, of crafting it that using it all day is going to simply cause it to, to fall apart. I mean, it's not like you're using it consistently unless, I don't know, it's, it's attached to a cat. This is a section that I would have loved to have seen a bit more development. And, and I get that this uh, fast crafting table is just an example of what all you could craft up. I mean, I'd likely allow my players to use their carpenter's tool to craft up a, a small bench to sit on, for example. Or perhaps use either the tinker's tools or the smith's tools to make some fishing hooks, uh, even though those are not listed. Anyways, that's the Origin Feat Crafter. I'll be covering a few more feats from this book and, and giving my commentary on them, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't, uh, give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to bookmark this playlist so that you don't miss those videos. What are some items you could see being crafted based on the artisan's tools presented? Let me know down in the comments, and until next our paths cross, may your bell not fall apart.